Alright, welcome everybody to another night of SPL action as we are starting the second qualification tournament. Coming right off the heels of the first one where the Columbus Clappers, the Chicago Sail, the St. Cloud Storm, and the Yosemite Grizzlies have earned their way into the Pro Division. And now we're looking for four more teams to fill in four more Pro Division spots and we are starting here tonight with our group stage, we have three matches on store, at least on this channel. I know Moss MP is also streaming two of his own, starting at 8.30. But tonight, starting here at 8, we have the Houston Hotboxers going up against the Pennsylvania Ball Peen Hammers. So, let's take a look at those lineups. For the Houston Hotboxers, they have Sea Dog, Big Meg, Gamer N and Rona passes to you as their starting or as their four team members for the Houston Hotboxers. I think they made it into the bracket. If I'm not mistaken, last tournament. I don't remember how far they got. As for the Pennsylvania Ball Peen Hammers, they have Cherries B, HZR, Shalisa, and Yordle. The Pens the Ball Peen Hammers making it all the way to that pro qualification match. This is not a pro qualification match. That screen's wrong. They're all going to be wrong tonight, now that I think about it. Fuck. Anyways. <laughs> I, I made all the screens wrong. Wonderful. But, as for the Pennsylvania Ball Peen Hammers, they have Cherries B, HZR, Shalisa, and Yurtle. They made it all the way to go up against the sale. However, they lost that series 2-0 find themselves coming up against Houston here in group. What group was this? This is group C. As our first match to start off the night here. You do technically have to play this match to get to uh, to get to pro, but <laughs> so technically not wrong, but not exactly uh, descriptive either. Anyways, just waiting on everybody to get into the lobby here. Why should every team not get a chance, Falster? want to hear your reasoning because I mean I, I know that none of the four teams that made pro last night were really surprises but I do think that you know there are some teams that have certainly proved themselves these past couple of tournaments or the last tournament Uh, this should start in a second. We are just waiting on the hammers to actually get into the lobby. So that we can start this one up. Looks like everybody is mostly into the lobby here. Looks like a couple people are still getting ready. Well, I mean, like, if you think about it, though, like, if we didn't, like, force players teams to qualify, then, like, a team like the Portland Porcupines would have gotten a free pro spot, and they, uh, sucked ass and had to disband. So... Like, I'm not going to sit here and try to say that what we're doing is the best solution, because it's probably not. To be honest. Wait, why are we... Okay, cool. 
hold on, gotta fix some stuff because apparently we all switched sides for some reason. Because the hammers couldn't be blue or something like that. Okay. Switch some stuff up. Just gonna make sure everybody's ready before I start this up. Alright. Seems like we are ready to go. So let's get this one going. Here we go. First group stage match here for... Tournament number two underway as Sea Doc tried to take control of that puck and loses it to Cherries. Cherries. Skating this puck around, looking for an opportunity. Takes that shot, blocked by Sea Dog. Sea Dog skating this one up into the hammer zone, puts that one into their net, and makes it a one to nothing lead already for the Houston Hot Boxers over the Pennsylvania Ball Peen Hammers. Off the face off here, Gamer N now looking to try to make it two to nothing for Houston. Gets blocked, now gets it up to Sea Dog. Sea Dog can't maintain control of that puck. He'll go over to Rona. But a shot does not find the mark there. Now, a reminder that we are now every series is a best of three series, as I think Cherries is having some lag issues of some variety here. Seems to be go doing good now, though, as Yertle skates this one to center ice here for the Hammers, skates it up, looks for an opportunity. Can't find HDR, instead it goes out to Cherry. Cherry takes that shot, gets blocked. HDR looking for an opportunity here, gets sent away. Now Sea Dog can't find the way to dump it away. As Arona skates this one out in front of their own net, skates it all the way up, loses control of it though. Look at that puck back, can't find Gamer and on the pass. Now Yertle keeping it away from Rona. We'll get that pass up to HZR. HZR can't find Cherry on the pass. Cherry will have to fight for this puck with Rona back behind the hot boxer's net. This one gets sent out to HZR. And this one will get sent down to Yertle in the Pennsylvania zone as the hammers reset. Yertle, plenty of room to work with. Finds that pass up to Cherry. Cherry, skating it around. Skates it back. Trying to reset here, but it said Rona steals it away and takes a quick shot there. Just wide of the net, probably could have taken a bit more time on that one. Sea Dog, gonna fight with Yertle here on the boards. Yertle passing that one back to Cherry. Cherry blocked by Rona. I'm gonna try to skate it in. HZR and Rona gonna fight here. That puck finding its way out. Now HZR losing that puck to Yertle. Yertle around boards finds HZR who passes it back to Yertle again. That one up to HDR, who takes that shot, gets it past Sea Dog and in. And the ball peen hammers are on the board here and tie it up a one to one in game number one. With a nice shot there. Now Yurtle from the boards. Skates it around. Gets that pass on to HDR. HDR. That one out to Yurtle. Yurtle in front of the net. Good stop by Gamer N. Sea Dog's getting that puck up, gets blocked by HZR on the shot attempt. Now HZR around the boards finds Cherry. Cherry back out to HZR, can't get that one on net. HZR again, trying to take that shot wide of the net. As now Cherry again can't quite find HZR. Yurtle's turn finds HZR, who again just misses, but the Hammers keep this chance alive here. Cherry's just walks this one in front of the Houston net and puts it in to make it 2-1. to one. You give the ball peen hammers the lead here. Two minutes and nine seconds left in game number one. Pennsylvania has taken the lead as Gamer N had a chance there. Actually skated it past all the Pennsylvania defenders. But misses that open net. As now the lawn shot from Pennsylvania just wide the net. However, HDR trying to put it out in front of the net. C Doc stops it. That puck getting dumped away here as Cherries will take control. Then this puck away from Rona as the two of them fight in the corner. Actually, Rona will get that puck away from Cherries. The two of them fighting for it again here. As Cherry will have to come back, get that puck, and dump it away. Sea Dog will take control here for Houston. Try to get that pass up to Rona. 
ZHZR will not get it at the blue line. Sea Dog will actually pass this one back here, let Gamer N take control for the hotboxers. Gamer N, plenty of room to work with here as HZR pressures. Gamer N losing that puck to HZR as Sea Dog tries to dump it away. Now Yurtle, fighting, will not get that puck away. It's Cherry trying to get that shot on net. Will actually find the little gap between Gamer N and the post. Fitting that one in. That's why you gotta hug that post. Three to one, two goal lead now for Pennsylvania's run off the faceoff, puts that one in. And makes it a one goal game once again. Cherry just kind of leaving that puck there. And giving Rona a beautiful opportunity as now HDR maybe has a chance. This puck finding its way over the Cherry. Cherry, back to center ice, pass blocked. Rona will take control of this one for Houston. On the boards now, looking. Not maintain control of that puck. Miss Cherry keeping it away from Rona. We'll get that pass down to Yurtle. Yurtle shot, blocked by Sea Dog. Has another chance. Can't get that pass over to HCR. And Yurtle again from behind the net. Gets that one out to Cherry. Cherry losing that one to Sea Dog. Under 30 seconds left. Can the Hotboxers find a way to tie this one up? Rona unable to get control of that puck. Yurtle can't get that one out to Cherry. Gamer and blocked it. No gamer gets this puck. We'll lose on the boards here, though. 15 seconds left. Houston's got to find a chance. This one goes out in front of their own net, but might give a chance to Rona, who sends the shot wide. HCR now trying to get, trying to just rag this puck against the boards, keep it away from Rona. We'll pass it down to Yurtle, who will put in the dagger for the ball. Peen hammers on a nice shot here, put Pennsylvania up by two, and give them the victory here in game number one, four to two over the Houston Hotboxers. A good game from both teams there. However, Pennsylvania ball peen hammers able to hold on, find that last second goal, and secure their victory. It looks like we are waiting for cherries here. Anyways. Just going to make sure we are ready to go here. All right, both teams are ready. So let's get this one started for game number two. Game number one going to the ball, Peen Hammers. Four to two. Can they take number two? Or can they take game number two and the series? Or can the Houston Hotboxers find a way to come back and force a game? Number three is Rona stopping that shot from Cherries. We'll lose control of that puck to HDR, though, who takes that shot. Gamer and blocked it. And then we'll get a replay here on this one. Gamer and good save. And Rona just barely too late on that shot from Cherry. As it just goes over the goal line and in almost two to nothing here and now it is as HDR puts that one in two quick goals for the ball peen hammers a shot going off the post by HDR comes in to finish the job and Pennsylvania only 20 seconds into game number two is up by two as Yurtle sends that shot just wide of the net game Ren sending that one around boards HDR will get to it Send it around. Find Cherry. Cherry will not maintain or will not get control of that puck. As now Yurtle will have to fight at center ice here. We'll get it away and dump it. Sea Dog will dump it back and behind the Pennsylvania net. Cherry sends it up to Yurtle, who takes that shot just wider than that. Now HCR looking for an opportunity. Loses that puck to Gamer N. Now Gamer N looking for a chance. It gets blocked. HCR shot wider than that. 
Hines now. Rona coming up, taking control of that puck and hitting that shot here for the Hot Boxers to make it a 2-1 to one game and bring that lead down to 1. Rona's been looking good for Houston so far as Cherry's now taking that shot blocked by Seadog. Cherry trying to find the pass back to a teammate. Instead, this goes all the way back to the Pennsylvania net. Luckily for them, wide of said net. As now Rona with another opportunity, maybe. Scanning this puck around. We'll lose that puck to Yertle. We'll look for a pass here. We'll get that one up to Cherry. Cherry will lose control of it. Yertle, shot wide. Yertle again. Skating this one around. Center ice. Gates to the blue line. Looks. Shot. Our first pass blocked by Rona. Now the pass out to Cherry. Cherry looking for an opportunity. Can't find anything. It's Rona on the boards here. We'll lose that puck. Cherries will skate it up. Can't get it past Sea Dog though as Rona gets to it. Trying to skate that one into the Pennsylvania zone. Loses control of it. Good pass by Cherry to Yertle, who hits a beautiful shot here for the Ball Peen Hammers to make it a two goal lead once again. Three to one. Our score. Pennsylvania looking good here. With three minutes left in game number two, they are up by two. If they maintain it, they take the series and take a 1 0. Group stage lead as they make it 4-1 to one here as Gamer N just misses on that puck off the good bump by HZR. Cherries gets credit for the goal. Three goal lead now for the Hammers. As this game is slipping out of Houston's reach as Rona misses on the shot there. Cherries skates it in front of their own net. Risky play, but it worked out. As Yertle in the corner. Passes it around to Cherry. Cherry getting that one over to HCR, who looks for a chance out in front of the net. Can't quite find it. Now Cherry again looking. Will lose control of that puck. Rona will not be able to get this one up ice. To have to dump it away. HCR now. We're right past the halfway point here in game number two. A three goal lead for the Ball Peen Hammers. They also have a 1 0 series lead as they make it a four goal lead in game here for good. Little move here by Cherry. Getting that one past Gamer N and in. 5-1 to one our score now. Pennsylvania dominating here in game number two. They look pretty much primed to take game number two and the series here. Barring a very big change of pace from the Houston Hotboxes. As Rona trying to find that pass out to Gamer N. It gets stolen by Yertle. Yertle 2 on 1. Finds Cherry on the pass. But Cherry can't get that shot on net. Pass out to HCR, whose shot is wide. A Yertle, back around boards, finds HCR. HCR trying to get that one to Cherry. Rona steals it away. Rona now, maybe a chance. Can't maintain control of that puck. Sea Dog though, good pass up to Rona, who can't find that shot. It's a difficult one from those boards, for sure. Not an easy angle to find. As Sea Dog loses that puck to Cherry, now trying to dump it away, sends it right to HCR, who gets a shot off, but it gets blocked. Under a minute 30 left here. Hammer is up by four, and like I said earlier, basically guaranteed to win game number two here. Barring a miracle as Rona sends that shot wide for the Hot Boxers. Gamer N looking, passing that one out to Sea Dog. Sea Dog looking for a shot, puts it towards the net. Cherries, though, good save. Keeps it a four goal game. Cherries, good pass up to HDR. HDR shot blocked by Sea Dog, who will now get control of that puck. Pass over to Gamer N. Gamer N. There a minute left. We'll lose that puck to Yertle. Yertle skates it up. Takes that shot. Good block by Sea Dog. But now HCR will take control of this one here. Get that one out to Cherry. Cherry loses that one to Rona. Now Sea Dog on the board. Just trying to dump that one away. Yertle will take control of it. Dump it back down to HCR. Who will get it out to Cherries. Whose shot is blocked by Gamer N. With so little time remaining. Does not look like a comeback for the Houston Hot Boxers will be possible. This looks like the Pennsylvania Ball Peen Hammers will take this series 2-0 over the Houston Hot Boxers. Improved to 1-0 in group play in group C here. As we just wait for the time to wind down. Everybody just kind of clicking their sticks, having fun. And that will do it here. Congratulations to the Ball Peen Hammers for their victory over the Houston Hot Boxers. 5 to 1 our score here in game number 2. 2-0 two series victory for the Hammers as they improve to 1-0 in group play as the Houston Hot Boxers fall 2-0.
and 1. Just give me a second here, as that will do it for our first match of the night. However, we still have a couple more left to go, as coming up next we have... Hold on, almost ready. As we have the Michigan Mallards going up against Northern Hills Voodoo. Or, actually, that, that should just say voodoo. Hold on. <laughs> I typed too much out. Anyways, that match will be coming up next, starting at around 8.30, so about 12 minutes from now. Fixing all the, like, spacing issues here. Okay, there we go. So, yes. Mallards vs. Voodoo starting in about 12 minutes from now. Until then, I'm going to go on a bit of a break, and I will catch you guys back here for the start of that one. Cool? Cool. Alright, welcome everybody, as we are getting set for another match up here. As coming up next, we have the Michigan Mallards going up against the Northern Hills Voodoo. Here in Group G, let's take a look at their lineups. For the Michigan Mallards, they have Blades, Chicken Noodle Soup, John Boy, and Toker. And, as, and for the Northern Hills Voodoo, they have just three, Delusional TJ, Capkin, and Mithrander. Mithrander? I'm going to say Mithrandic. For the Michigan Mallards, they made it all the way to the second round of their bracket last tournament, going up against the Chicago Sale. Couldn't come away with the victory, though. Falling uh, down in that series 2-0. As for the Northern Hills Voodoo, I know they made it into the bracket, but I think they lost in the first round, if I'm not mistaken. I do not remember to who. I think they took a game, but they were unable to come away with the victory. As we are waiting for the Mallards to get into this lobby here so we can start this one up. Should be an interesting matchup for sure, though. The Voodoo, I think the Voodoo were one of those teams that kind of surprised me with their uh, abilities in the last tournament. So I'm going to be interested to see how they do against the Mallards, a team that I think, especially after their performance last tournament, definitely have uh, pro division aspirations. We'll see how this match does. So like I said, we just wait for the Mallards to actually get into the lobby. And we can start this one up. Looking at the predictions so far, people are mostly Mallards. It's 80 to 20% at the moment. Can't really blame you. Discord just in case something pops up. Alright, never mind. It's just somebody submitting a ticket for a score. It's all good. Looks like the mallards are hopping into the lobby now, so we will be ready to start this one shortly. As I say that, Chicken Noodle Soup immediately tells me to give him a minute, so. According to John Boy, Chicken Noodle Soup is uh, finishing his Dino Nuggy. Best type of nugget. As it looks like John Boy will actually be playing for the Mallards in this one, as Blades will be sitting on the sidelines. Should be interesting to see. Usually, of course, the Mallards go with Blades, Chicken Noodle Soup, and Toker as their starting three. Wait for Chicken Noodle Soup to be ready, and then we will get this one started. Thank you for the follows, Delusional TJ and Little Germ 11. Appreciate them. 
<laughs> Delusional TJ coming into the chat to say voodoo all the way. All right, mallards are ready. Voodoo are ready. Good luck, have funds are being thrown out as we get this one going. And again, John Boy filling in for blades, at least at the moment. We have this one started here. John Boy off the face off fighting with Capkin. This puck will go find its way back to Chicken Noodle Soup. A Capkin will take control of it. Pass over to Delusional TJ. TJ looking. Getting that puck up. Can't find Mithrander. On the pass there. Last score was backwards. Ah, good point. Hold on. I'm going to go like fix that while we uh, wait here. I'm really bad at that because in my head I think, oh, the last score was 0-2 for this team. But, you know, it doesn't really work with how the ordering on this has to work. I'm just going to fix that while uh, this match gets started here. As Chicken Noodle Soup setting it up here for the Mallards. Keeping this puck away from Capkin. We'll send it around boards and find John Boy. John Boy. As we're a minute in here, no goals yet. We'll find Toker. Toker will lose control of that puck. Delusional TJ looking for a chance. John Boy gets it back. John Boy takes that shot and hits it. The Mallard sub coming up big here early on in game number one here. For a beautiful shot there, giving Michigan the lead one to nothing over the Northern Hills Voodoo. As off the face off, Chicken Noodle Soup. We're skating that puck. Gets it to center ice here. Capkin gets it away. Just trying to dump it. Behind the voodoo net, or behind the mallards net, sorry. Miss Rander getting that one out to Capkin. Now Delusional TJ skating around back behind. Waiting for a pass out to Capkin there. It's blocked. There's another chance with this puck though. We'll send it around boards to Capkin. Capkin gets it around. Toker takes that shot off the side of the net. Noodle Soup will lose that puck to TJ, but John Boy comes back. Makes a good save. Now TJ, good pass out to Capkin. Capkin. As the Voodoo keep this chance alive here, TJ though losing control of that puck, it will find its way to Chicken Noodle Soup, as the Mallards will take control. Soup just dumping that one into the Northern Hills zone as that puck gets bounced out in front of their net, and then all three members of the team miss it as Toker walks it in here for the Michigan Mallards to make it a 2 to nothing game. Now Toker off the faceoff, can't find that shot. It's Capkin. As Chicken Noodle Soup is just kind of sitting still there. I think had some lag issues. Looks like he's good to go now, though, as Capkin on the boards. Lose that puck to John Boy. John Boy will fight for this one and just dump that puck away to Delusional TJ. TJ will lose control of that one. Now Chicken Noodle Soup will try to set up here for the Mallards. Pass that one out to Toker. Toker will lose control of it. Capkin, good pass over to Mithrander. Mithrander can't find the shot on net there as it gets blocked. Now TJ, pass over to Capkin. Capkin shot blocked by Toker. Who makes a good save there. Delusional TJ now again. Will lose that puck to Chicken Noodle Soup who has an open net. And Soup will just walk that one in basically. Making it 3 to nothing here for the Michigan Mallards. As we are past the halfway point here in game number 1. The Mallards have a commanding lead over Northern Hills. As John Boy looking to just wrap that one around and in. It's Rander, sending that one away. Now Toker with a chance for the Mallards here. Maintain control of that puck. Watch it lose on the boards here to Capkin. Capkin over to Mithrander. Going to dump that one away. John Boy will take control of this one. With Mithrander pressuring, we'll try to get that pass around boards. Chicken Noodle Soup doesn't connect. John Boy now, center ice. Pass over to Toker. Toker. Around Mithrander, takes that shot just wide of the net. Because John Boy can't find a way to get it out. Capkin. Passing that one up to Mithrander. Mithrander on the boards. Losing control of that puck. Capkin taking that shot wide of the net. John Boy now around boards. We'll find Toker. Toker from the corner. Sending that one down ice right to Delusional TJ. Dump it back in to the Mallards zone. John Boy now trying to pass that one up to Chicken Noodle Soup. Again intercepted by TJ. And now Toker will steal that puck back. Try to get it back to Chicken Noodle Soup. Doesn't connect. TJ on the boards. Northern Hills need three goals here as we're approaching a minute left. It's going to be hard to find though as, yeah, those as Mithrander sending that puck the wrong direction. Now Chicken Noodle Soup. And then this one over to John Boy. Under a minute left. John Boy. Skating it up. Pass up to Toker. Does not connect. TJ gets in the way. 
Chicken noodle soup from the boards. Skating it around, losing control of that puck. John Boy gets it back, though. Gets that pass up to Toker. Well, Miss Rander will get there, send it around, boards to Capkin. Capkin, center ice, trying to get that one up to TJ. It's blocked by John Boy. John Boy now blocking. Capkin again can't find that shot, though. But as we approach 30 seconds left here, it looks like game number one will go to the Michigan Mallards. Chicken noodle soup, just skating this puck around. Trying to get that pass down to Toker. It got tipped by TJ, but Toker still gets to it. Gets that pass out to Soup, who can't find a shot. Toker from the corner, again getting that one out in front of the net. Myth Rander sends it away. But Voodoo, unable to find many offensive chances here, will fall victim, most likely to the shutout here. Barring a last-second goal, Capkin good save, sends that one down. I still can't find that goal, though, as John Boy comes away with the save, and the Michigan Mallards take game number one. 3 to nothing over the Northern Hills Voodoo. We get set to begin game number two. Make sure both teams are ready to go, and then we will get game two started here. Mallards be ready, and it looks like Voodoo are ready as well. So we will get this one going. And game number one going to the Michigan Mallards. Three to nothing over the Northern Hills Voodoo. Can they continue that momentum and take game number two and the series here? Or can the Northern Hills Voodoo finally find their way into the net? Start to mount a bit of a comeback here as TJ takes that shot blocked by Soup. Send it around boards to Toker. Toker. Try to send that one down. Ice Capkin gets in the way of it. Capkin's shot blocked by Soup. We'll set up for the Mallards. Find Toker on that pass who barely can't find the angle on that shot there. A difficult one, but Toker almost hit it. Now John Boy trying to find the pass out to Toker. Gets blocked by Capkin. Soup will get this puck here and will set up for the Michigan Mallards. From behind their net, Capkin up to pressure. We'll get that pass up to John Boy, who will miss getting his stick on that one. Smith Rander setting up here for Northern Hills Voodoo. Getting that pass up to TJ. TJ trying to get that one over to Capkin. Capkin can't maintain control of that puck. Now John Boy, waiting for an opportunity here. We'll lose it to Delusional TJ, who will set up here for the Voodoo. Try to get that pass up. We'll find Smith Rander. Dump it away. Noodle Soup again back behind the Mallard's net. Taking his time with this one. Skating it around. Looking, we'll try to get that pass up to John Boy. John Boy will get that puck and just dump it back behind the Northern Hills voodoo net. It's Capkin trying to skate this one out here. In a battle of chicken noodle soup. We'll send it over to Delusional TJ. TJ skating this puck up, takes that shot, goes wide of the net. John Boy now can't maintain control of that one back behind the Mallard's net. Mithrander will get this pass out to Capkin. A while to get to Capkin, though, and this allows the Mallards to force some pressure and regain control of this puck as John Boy sets up behind the Mallards net. Can't find Chicken Noodle Soup. Capkin now skates his puck up. Got around Chicken Noodle Soup. Can't get around Toker, though. Looking like Toker could have had a chance there, but Mithrander sends that puck away. Now John Boy, that puck bouncing off Mithrander, and luckily for the Voodoo, not into their net. As Toker again trying to find a difficult angle from the boards and again just barely missing. Chicken Noodle Soup will lose that puck to Mithrander. John Boy will send it around boards and find Toker. Toker. With the puck here, just kind of spinning around on it. Skates that one up and dumps it back behind the Mallard, or the uh, Voodoo's net, sorry. As Mithrander dumps it away and it goes right to John Boy. John Boy, looking for an opportunity. Finds Soup on the pass, but Soup shot off the side of the net. However, Mallard's still keeping this offensive chance alive. Soup may be looking for the wraparound here. Gets stopped by Capkin. Soup still finds a way to get this shot off, though. And as we just pass the halfway point here in game number two, the Mallards get our first goal of game number two with a nice shot there from Chicken Noodle Soup as they take the 1-2-0 lead. The same lead that they currently hold in our best of three series. As John Boy now skating this one around, skates it up, looking for a shot, takes it wide. As Toker will pass this one back to John Boy as the Mallards get set up once again. John Boy skating this one around. It's around Capkin, looking for a shot again, this time blocked by Delusional TJ. John Boy, a chance out in front of the Voodoo net, maybe, as Capkin gets this around him. Now Capkin going to fight with Chicken Noodle Soup on the boards. Capkin will not come away with that puck. 
We'll actually come back and get this puck this time, though, and get this pass over to TJ. TJ, center ice, takes that shot wide of the Mallard's net. As John Boy here will set up for Michigan and dump that puck away. Miss Rander around the boards finds delusional TJ. Actually, no, will not find TJ as this puck finds its way to Soup. Soup, pass intercepted by Kapkin. Kapkin shot blocked by John Boy. As the Voodoo are still looking for their first goal in this series. As Toker again just missing from the side. Third time this game where Toker got close on one of those kind of side shots but couldn't quite find it. I think that was arguably the easiest of the three. The other two difficult angles to hit. As Kapkin now taking control of that puck. Will lose it to chicken, chicken Noodle Soup. Who will set up at center ice. Skate this one up. And with some beautiful moves. Put that in to the Voodoo net. To make it 2 to nothing now. For the Michigan Mallards. As they have a two goal lead here. With about a minute left. If they maintain it. They take the series. And will go up 1-0 in group play here. In group G as... Chicken Noodle Soup will try to send that one around boards to Toker. It gets sent back, but John Boy will take control of that one. Pass up to Chicken Noodle Soup, who dumps it back behind the Voodoo Net. Miss Rander, try to get that one up to Capkin. Capkin got a stick on it, but sends it right to John Boy. John Boy launch shot. Good save by TJ. But it might not be enough here. 40 seconds left. Voodoo still need two goals. They still have not found a single goal during this series. And Chicken Noodle Soup going for the wraparound. Miss Rander, good stop. Dumps that puck away. Under 30 seconds now. John Boy over to Chicken Noodle Soup. Chicken Noodle Soup. Good pass up to Toker. Over to John Boy who can't find the shot. Toker now trying to take that shot. And again missing. TJ getting that one to Mithrander. Mithrander wide. John Boy pass up to Chicken Noodle Soup. Who has an open net. 3 to nothing. And if it wasn't a done deal. The Mallards make sure of that. With a nice shot here from Soup. As they will take the series 2-0. Over the Northern Hills Voodoo. Who put up a good fight here, but just cannot generate much offense. No goals in these two games. But as I say that, they find a goal. So they can at least walk away with the series with that one. As a good pass from TJ finds its way to Kapkin. Who puts that one in. Makes it 3-1. to one. They get a goal on the board at least. As Toker gets one here as well. To make it 4-1. to one. Mouths will take game 2 and take this series 2-0. Over the Northern Hills Voodoo. So GG's all around. Good series. But the Mallards just a bit too good for the Voodoo here. Take the series 2-0. We will be moving on to our last series of the night. Actually, not moving on quite yet, but... So once again, the Mallards take that series 2-0. And we have one last series to cover tonight. As we have coming up next the Boston Bagels going up against the Brooklyn Bandits. However, that's still a good 15 minutes out. So, like usual, we'll run some ads, play some music while we wait for that match to start. Cool, cool. Hello, Night Sector. Alright, let's try that one again. So, let's go look at the lineups for the Boston Bagels and the Brooklyn Bandits. So, for the Boston Bagels, they have Deshano? Desino? Desino? I don't know. Uh, Jace, Pamps, and Porky Pasta. As for the Brooklyn Bandits, they have Dave, Derek, Kyler, and M-Dub. And like I said, this is actually a rematch from a bracket play in tournament number one, where the Brooklyn Bandits took out the Boston Bagels 2-0. In the bracket, in the first round of matches. So, it'll be interesting to see how this match goes this time around. As we wait for Dave to fill in for Kyler, apparently, who's going to be missing. Also, my day has been going pretty well. Is that... Well, I'm trying to remember what the bagel's uh, abbreviation is. Is it just BB?
checking, just checking, just checking. I can't remember what the, I can't remember what their abbreviation is. Anyways, it looks like both teams are ready to go and are yelling at me to start, so uh, I should probably just like start it and I will fix the screen when we get there. Okay. I think it's just BB. So I'm just gonna go with that and hope that I'm right. I'm probably wrong because I'm a fucking idiot. I didn't get like any of this shit set up beforehand as Kyler just walks that one in. Bandits go up one to nothing early on in this one. Oh, I am just fucking up all over the place. There we go. That should be good enough. Whatever. All right. Kyler getting control of this puck here off the pass from M Dub. Takes it to center ice. Takes that shot off of Derek and wide. The man's already up one to nothing. Is M Dub now looking? the puck here skating it up bouncing that one off the boards takes that shot porky pasta makes the stop now m dub with the puck skating it around out in front of the bagels net porky pasta getting control of it and that one gets sent out to kyler kyler now roll the puck here the senior pressuring will take control of this one here as it bounces off of porky pasta will lose it back to m dub though who takes that shot wider than that Now Derek with a chance out in front of the Bagels net. It gets blocked. Derek again will get another chance and this time puts it in. Okay. I am wrong about the Bagels abbreviation, so let me fix that here. It's just bag. Silly me. It's bag. There we go. Alright. Everything's finally set up correctly. You know, we're only just a minute 30 into the first match. As Kyler's getting that one up. Can't find M-Dub on the pass. It misses. As M-Dub now gets blocked. As Derek will take control of this one here. Pass up to Kyler. Kyler over to M-Dub. M-Dub. In for an opportunity. Takes that shot. Can't find anything there. Now Derek looking. Just walking this one in. Trying to skate it around here. Takes that shot and will actually find the goal off of that one. The Bandits are already up 3 to nothing over the Boston Bagels. Bagels. I guess, I, I feel like I have to say it like Boston Bagels. I gotta like try to emphasize the Boston accent on it. It's Kyler with the puck just getting it around. And then that one off to Derek. Derek looking for an opportunity here. Bandits already up by 3. Send it around the boards. Find Kyler. Kyler hands it back to M-Dub. M-Dub center ice. Looking. We'll lose that one to Porky Pasta, but we'll get it back. Send it around. Try to find Kyler. Can't quite connect on it. Kyler gets the pass out to Derek. Derek takes the shot. It goes off of Kyler's head and in four to nothing. Now, Bandits dominating. It looks like they are going to steamroll here through the Boston Bagels. Unless something changes quickly. Them Dub will take control of this puck. Pass over to Kyler. Kyler will not get control of that one. Them Dub now fighting with Porky Pasta. Porky looking. We'll get this one out to Jace. Jace's shot blocked by Kyler. Good shot there, actually. A good save by Kyler to keep this one scoreless for the Boston Bagels. As Kyler, good pass to M Dub. Five to nothing now. As the bandits are just dominating. Kyler with the puck. Skates out to center ice. Looking. Gets blocked. Derek takes the shot. Jace with the save. But Derek like, just try to walk that one in. Can't quite do it. It didn't end the last prediction. Did I not? No, I, I did. I, I definitely did. As M Dub puts that one in, six to nothing. It doesn't let you do a new prediction if I didn't end the old one. As we are encroaching on the mercy rule here. The 
Bandits are up by six. Porky Pasta, good shot. Kyler, though, makes the save. Kyler up to M-Dub, who can't find Derek. There is a mercy rule. If, if the goal differential is eight, the game ends there. So... Right now it's seven to nothing, and with a minute thirty left, we are most likely going to see eight to nothing at some point, or like nine to one or something like that. As Kyler now sends it around boards, finds Derek. Derek center ice looking, gets blocked by Porky Pasta. Porky trying to get that one to Deshano or Desenio. I know how to say that, Desenio. I don't know. Anyways. Zarek takes that shot there. I said it... Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I said it like three different times. <laughs> I said it like three different ways. They send... Whatever. Anyways, Kyler puts that one in. <laughs> Game number one goes to the bandits. Eight to nothing. No, it's fine. It's fine. My, it's my brain. As Desenio. I guess we finish it off here, but... At this point, game's already over. This will be a one nothing Brooklyn lead in the series. As we just wait for time to run out, and I pray that at some point this game allows us to implement our own mercy rules. Because I, I hate watching this. <laughs> Is Derek just getting it around? Makes it ten to nothing. This none none of these goals past eight to nothing count, so don't worry about them. Anyways, game one goes to the Brooklyn Bandits as they dominate, win eight to nothing. I know the scoreboard sends ten to nothing, but uh, just forget about that, okay? You didn't see me wink, but but I winked. I mean, like we do. It's just like with thirty seconds left. I I guess M Dub wanted logs. I don't know. It doesn't really matter if it gets played out or not at that point. Like, we'll just count it as an 8 to nothing. Alright, I think everybody's ready to go. I mean, I agree. Like, it's... <laughs> Derek shouldn't have been going around, like, putting on, like, the best shots he could at net. But, whatever. Alright. Game 2 set to begin here. Game 1, a mercy rule victory for the Bandits. We'll see if Game 2 is any different here for the Bagels. Hopefully they can find themselves a goal, at least. Kyler. Already just making it one to nothing. Really good play here. Can't lie, just great moves. I think the bagels are, uh... I think they're done. I'm imagining here. Probably get a bit of communication between both teams, hopefully, at some point. Let's switch to puck cam! Look at that puck cam! Are we going? Are we done? What? <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Apparently they say that he's gonna come back. We gotta keep looking at the puck cam here, because look how cool it is! Look at the puck cam! Alright, looks like we got a full three again. Look at that! Sick! Right, so we can keep going here. It's Kyler looking for an opportunity in front of the net here. Puts it in, two to nothing. Styling on the team that has a man just sitting next to the post typing in chat. As Jace will lose it to Kyler. Kyler's shot blocked. Kyler literally just standing still now. Like a statue. M Dub pass over to Derek. Derek back to M Dub. Three to nothing. Why am I even watching this? This Chase is trying to walk it in. Damn. I thought they had it. Four to nothing. Stopping continues. Kyler does not make it five to nothing. Good save by Porky Pasta. It's been okay. Just been kind of hanging out for the most part. Not doing too much. As Porky Pasta almost had a chance to put one on net there, couldn't quite do it. How's your day been, Yuri? It's Kyler looking for a chance, center ice. This puck will get sent over to Derek. Kyler will actually get this puck back. Well, to be fair, Elliot's not the one in the basement. But no, Lucy is still hanging out down in the basement with my dad. I do absolutely nothing ever. Same. This <laughs> is the same. As Kyler walks it in, five to nothing. This <laughs> and comes into typed in Twitch chat right afterwards. Here's hoping the call goes well. That's at six to nothing now. Kyler passing that one back to M Dub. M Dub looking. Porky Pasta? Maybe? Maybe? Porky Pasta has a chance? No. I thought. M Dub getting that pass up to Derek. <laughs> but luckily, we only have about 40 seconds left of this one. As Derek trying to get that one on net, gets blocked. Kyler skating this one back out, trying to hand that one off to Derek. Derek will take control of that puck on the boards here, take that shot. It's blocked by his own teammate, though I think it would have been wide anyways. Kyler looking for a chance, can't find one. Styling on these kids. Looking, misses though. 
And that will end this one. 6 to nothing. our final score. Game number two, Brooklyn dominates the series 2-0 over the Boston Bagels. Sure, we can say GG's. Sure. As again, Kyler decides to BM a team of new players because this is what they deserve, apparently. Anyways. That will be it for me tonight. Just three matches on stream. As uh, to go over the results for the night, the Hammers beat the Houston Hotboxers 2-0. The Mallards beat the Northern Hills Voodoo 2-0. And the Brooklyn Bandits dominate the Boston Bagels 2-0. And that will end our night, at least on my channel. And I think actually all around the board. As I don't think there's another streamer streaming tonight, unfortunately. I have a game to go prepare for, so. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the follows, subs, bits, whatever I may have missed. I think I, I think tonight, yeah, tonight actually got me up to, uh, 650 followers, which, uh, Jesus. That's a lot. Thank you for the bit, Yuri. Appreciate it. And I will catch you guys back here tomorrow night for more group stage action here in qualification tournament number two. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.